limited work on a fix for San Francisco's leaning Millennium Tower resumed today. The KPIX 5's Max Darrow spoke to a structural engineering consultant who believes that it's time to put the brakes on the entire project. Max. Uh, for months, we've reported on this fix to the Millennium Tower that's actually been making the problem worse than better. Construction crews were out here today once again, though, working on one part of the project. But that structural engineer thinks there is serious potential that this retrofit will hit another big roadblock. Construction crews were busy on the corner of Mission and Fremont today as work on part of San Francisco's leaning Millennium Tower retrofit resumed. Work on the fix was put on pause just before Labor Day. Once it became apparent, construction methods were actually making the problem worse. And we haven't got to the worst part of the fix yet, the, the most risky part of the fix. David Williams is a structural engineer and deep foundation expert. In 2017, concerned unit owners in the Millennium Tower hired him as a consultant after learning their luxury high-rise, barely seven years old at the time, had sunk more than a foot and was leaning to the northwest. There was evidence of a lot of uh, uh, places with water intrusion. Williams also noted extensive water damage in the garage, but he says the floor of the Millennium Tower's basement exposed what appeared to be an even bigger problem. It was dipping in the middle, something referred to as dishing. The dishing of the floor there, which is the dishing of the mat, 10 foot thick mat, was significant. Clearly, it had been distressed. He predicts the current perimeter pile upgrade may run into serious problems when new piles anchored to bedrock are connected to the building's weakened foundation. When they start jacking, then they're doing a load redistribution and they're really dependent on the integrity of the existing structure. Williams hopes the foundation issues will be discussed when supervisors host hearings on the Millennium Tower fix at City Hall next week. Supervisor Aaron Peskin called for the hearings. The building today is not in any imminent threat of structural failure. Uh, the question that has not been satisfactorily answered as far as I'm concerned is at what point is the point of no return. A spokesperson for the Millennium Homeowners Association sent us a copy of a letter from a contractor working on a leak repair design for the garage. Now, according to the contractor, the garage isn't underneath the main tower of the Millennium Tower, but the smaller one that's adjacent to it, and the ongoing water intrusion does not pose a life safety concern. Ken and Liz? Yeah, Max, you uh, mentioned construction's resumed once again. Uh, do we know uh, if there is a point when they would have to pause work again? So, Ken, uh, they are installing new casings on the northwest side of the building. Now, according to a letter that the city sent to both the Tower GM and the HOA, if any of these casings result in about a quarter of an inch or settlement or more per casing, a work will stop immediately. Ken and Liz. All right, Max, thank you.